Hi friends, in this tutorial, I am going to teach you about website designing. I will be teaching the essential of website designing. That is what all the coding languages necessary to build a basic website. You people know the importance of a website. But building a website is very very easy. It is not that much complex to build a website. The essentials of website are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. It is an optional language. We need not go for this. But this is also necessary to build a complete website. See what is HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. I will explain you with a real time example. So I am going into a website. Any sample website. See in this website we have a logo here. We have the menu items here. We have a slider here and then we have some other sections with some content and some form details. So what you observe? There are many contents in this website. See to include a content in a website we must use HTML. HTML is nothing but hypertext markup language. It consists of set of all the tags. So to include an image we have an image tag. To include menu item, we will be using list tags and anchor tags. Likewise, to image images, we will be using image tag for the slider. Then, heading tags for contents, paragraph tag for contents, and form elements to build this form. So, what we can do with HTML is, we can just build the contents for a website, but not a complete website. So, only we can give image, contents, paragraphs, and form elements, tables, etc., etc., as a content to our web page. But we can build a complete web page only by using CSS. CSS is nothing but cascading style sheet. Look at the name style sheet. So, once after including the content into a website using HTML, we will be using CSS to declare its style. That is, I will be declaring a style that image the logo should be only in left side direction and it should be in width 100 percentage or height 100 pixel like that likewise i will align the menu items in a single line and i will write a style that menu should be placed only in right side direction and com coming back to paragraphs i will write a style called font size font family so that i can change the style of this particular content all these things cannot be done using only html so HTML is nothing but giving contents for a website while CSS is nothing but giving style for your website. So only when you combine HTML and CSS you can form a complete neat website layout. So are you all clear with HTML and CSS? Next thing is JavaScript. What is the use of JavaScript? See in this contact. How many fields are there? name field, email field and message field. If suppose I am a end user and I am coming and submitting this form, the form should not submit. It should check whether the name is filled, the email is filled and the message box is filled. For this type of validation that is in the client side, this is called client side, this is our website end, this is called client side. So to check the validation in client side, we need a scripting language. The client side scripting language is this javascript so we will be using javascript to validate this form check now i am not filling any details in this forms but i am submitting it can you see the alert message please fill out this field this alert can be given only using a client side scripting language we are using javascript as our client side scripting language now i hope that you are very well clear about what is the use of html css and javascript now coming back to the last thing php this is an optional thing see a designer can know only html css and javascript to build a clean website but a developer a website developer should know at least one server side scripting language what is the use of server side scripting language now see here i am filling the name mail and address when i am giving the correct information and i submit this these details should go to someone's mail or these details should be saved in some other database. 
For this purpose, I will be using a server-side scripting language. So JavaScript is a client-side scripting language. PHP is a server-side scripting language. So now when I fill this form, it will send us a mail. See the extension .php. Whenever I am using PHP, I will be saving this as PHP file. So only if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP and the basics of Photoshop. If you know all these five things, we can easily build a website in fraction of seconds. If you know all these things very clearly, it will not take even one hour to complete one web page. What is the difference between web page and website? A particular page is web page. In this website, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 web pages. So, a combination of web pages is called a website. If you know all these programming languages very well, in R, we can create one web page. So, in 7 hours, we can complete a complete website. We'll catch you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.